OK, we're into the top three now, and we present to you the inventor of the MPV, Chrysler. Well, Renault would disagree with you there, Dave. But the original Chrysler minivan, as the Americans call it, was certainly one of the first to transport our colonial cousins around to their baseball matches and their massive shopping malls. Strange they call them vans, as that's a pretty negative description for UK drivers. Anyway, the latest Voyager looks great and is more practical than ever to own. doors open normally, but like the Previa, the back one's on a slide, which is so useful when your kids have a habit of hitting neighbourhood cars when they open the doors. Inside, all seven passengers have decent legroom and headroom, and there are so many cup holders and cubby holes, well, you could lose count. And with the extra space the Grand Voyager offers, you could even lose the odd child as well. That extra foot of space is essential for holidays when you need to share all the luggage and gubbins in from all those people that you're carrying. On the road, you're powered along by an excellent 2.5-litre turbo diesel. We say forget the petrol variants because the 2-litre is far too weedy and the 3.4-litre simply gulps fuel. Now there is some body roll, but what do you expect with such a huge machine? Overall, we're very impressed by the package and unless you're really scared off by those very bad NCAP crash test results, you ought to check the latest Voyager out. Mm -hmm. 